Good evening. As you can see, I was not equipped to be doing a Facebook Live this evening. <laughs> I'm in uh, my, I'm just going to pop this in my Self Love Club group. I'm just going to share with a few people. Um, like I say, I was not going to be um, doing a Facebook Live this evening. But I've decided to jump on and do one because um, I actually feel like a few things need to be said. And um, I'm just going to jump on my soapbox for a little bit, basically. <laughs> so if you know anybody that needs to hear this message, um, please, 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 please feel free to share it with them. I'm just tagging a few peeps that I know like to listen back to my message. They're probably busy right now, but that's okay. Uh, apologies that I'm so close to you right now, but I'm just sharing with um, some people that I know that will want to hear this stuff. So um, I apologise to anybody who I haven't tagged. Massive apologies, but you know what? I can't keep everybody happy all of the time. How are we? Is everybody okay? I hope, um, as you can tell, I was not going to be doing a Facebook Live this evening. I was out in the garden earlier today. It was absolutely glorious out there. Um, it really has been beautiful. I work downstairs in the conservatory. Um, I'm very, very blessed. I've got a beautiful space in the conservatory where I can work. So today I've been working out there and it's been so hot that I've actually had to go outside and sit in the garden and it's been incredible um so hence my attire and hence I'm not ready to do a Facebook live this evening but actually I had a message channel through me earlier and I actually just wanted to jump on and um share it with you because um <sighs> I'm a little bit disappointed, and I don't like to say this stuff because it sounds like I'm a teacher or a mum or something, and I'm really not, but I just feel a little bit disheartened today um, by some of the stuff that I've seen online, and I just wanted to address it. I just wanted to jump on and just remind you the times that we're living in right now. Um, for those of you who do know or don't know, um, you may know that this evening there has been a proposed clap for Boris Johnson. Um, now, I just want to, um, before this triggers anybody or before people start erupting or bringing their own belief system into this, I just want to talk about this from my perspective, okay? As I always do, I'm just going to share my perspective and you guys are entitled to yours. Now, that man, whether you like him or not, is completely irrelevant. I've had a lot of people messaging me today saying, Lucy, why are you going to join in with this clap? Now, the, let me explain to you why I join in on on the um I join in on the Thursday I join into anything like this why because our planet needs the vibration at the moment our planet is healing in such a beautiful way that by increasing the, the vibration by the clapping and everything it actually helps catapult it to a whole new level um hello my darling look ace ah oh, bless you right, lots of love to you my love it's good to hear from you it's good to have you on um, so it doesn't matter what your political beliefs are. It really doesn't matter what your political beliefs are. I would really encourage you this evening, if you are able at 8pm, i.e. you're not putting the kids to bed or anything like that, I would really appreciate you joining with us to do this. Now, if you don't, if you're not a conservative supporter and you don't like Boris Johnson, please don't make it about politics. What I would be doing is going out there and cheering for the NHS. I would be cheering for the people that are fighting for their lives. I would be cheering for absolutely any reason that you have got to cheer because that's what this uh, planet needs right now. Now, I had a message channel through me earlier today and as you guys know, I'm, I'm very connected spiritually and I get lots of, um, I get lots of messages coming through me con continually. And today, what the message was is you need to communicate compassion, kindness and love. Now, I feel that I do that every single day. I feel like I'm banging on about love and about kindness and about positivity and all that good stuff every single day. But the fact that I've been asked very specifically to mention those three words compassion kindness and love and I would just really like to bring us all back into our heart space like I say it does not matter whether you are conservatives or labor how about we just unite as a community and we just scream and we shout and we basically increase the vibration on the planet so that whoever needs healing is going to get healing he is somebody's son 
He is absolutely somebody's partner. He's, he's got a baby on the way. So it doesn't matter, and I've got goosebumps when I say that, like, it doesn't matter who you are or what you are, like, let's pray for the safety of his baby. Let's pray for the safety of the other people that are fighting for their lives. Like, let's come together. And I know this is why I've called in all my light workers. I really need you this evening. It doesn't matter which country you're in. Please, 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 in less than an hour, about half an hour now, it'll be 8 p.m. in the UK. Please unite with us for five or 10 minutes worth of clapping. Then at five or 10 past eight, me and my group and anybody on here is welcome to join us. We are gonna be dropping into a collective, a con a collective consciousness meditation, okay? And what we're basically gonna do is we are going to go over to um, Glastonbury. There's a mound there with a building on top. It's called the Tor. We're going to meet there and we're going to do some beautiful, beautiful healing energy. We're going to give it to the earth. We're going to absolutely increase the vibration through the people that are in hospital fighting for their lives. So you might not know how to meditate. That's okay. All you need to do is sit there and envisage that you're in Glastonbury. If you don't know what it looks like, you've got plenty of time to Google it. But most importantly, it's this vibration that we are doing. It's this vibration that we need to increase right now. Now, this isn't a time for us to be battling about political beliefs. This isn't a time to be red against blue. This isn't a time to be against any of that stuff. This is a time to dip into your heart, into your beautiful heart space and say, I'm a human being, how would I feel if this was my mother, my father, my brother, my sister, my child? That's the perspective that we need to be coming from with this. And I get there are so many people out there that have completely different um, political values or whatever. Let's not bring that into this. Let's absolutely do what is right for what we need. We, we need the vibration on the planet to be going up. We need compassion. We need kindness. We need love. I'm actually quite disgusted at some of the things that I've seen today. And again, I don't mean to sound like a teacher. I don't mean to sound like your mum. But I actually have been quite disgusted. A couple of people. So yeah, let's clap for Lauren's um, uncle. Oh, sorry, your uncle's brother. Let's clap for him. You know, let's clap for the people that are on the front line. Let's clap for the, um, you know, the, the dustbin men. Let's clap, um, clap for the nurse workers, the care workers. Let's clap for them. Let's not even make it about political beliefs. And, you know, yes, it was put out there as let's do it for Boris. But if you don't agree with Boris, that doesn't mean you need to verbalize it. Just get out there and clap because right now on this planet, we need love, we need compassion and we need kindness. And the fact that spirit, literally, as I was writing today, I was doing a lot of writing this afternoon um, and I was channeled so hard. I had a meditation this afternoon and it was extremely profound. I was shown things that I wasn't actually quite... Um, quite ready to see but you know what it, it comes up for me and I, I you know you have to take the the lessons you have to take the rough with the smooth on this journey you can't just pick all of the light bits out unfortunately so you know you're doing the right things I've seen a few people on here I've had to uh, scroll past a lot of stuff today good I hope you are let's not feed into it like it's just not worth it what we need to be doing um Colin is still Colin is still in is he so yeah let's be making sure it's not about political belief system put it in your perspective so Alison like let's go with Alison's partner let's go with Lauren's uncle uh brother uh uncle brother's uncle, uncle's brother, whatever it is. Um, let's just put everything to one side and let's get absolutely, I love the fact that Nikos has just said this, like put it all to one side and give a load of love to the fallen ones because that is what it is. You know, if you love, if you love Boris, great, give him an even bigger cheer. If you don't love him, still cheer for those people. Please, please, please just cheer for the people because the only way that we are, you know what I mean, Lauren, I don't mean to be disrespectful, you know what I mean. <laughs> the only way that we are going to get through this is by love. The only way to get through this is with love. The best thing that we can do is raise the vibration on the planet. And the best way to do that is by noise, by, you know, stamping your feet and by clapping your hands. So if you're pissed off with Boris and you don't like it, stamp your feet at him because you're still going to be giving the planet what it needs. 
you'll also give yourself a really amazing energy workout because it's it's a powerful thing to do I'm here as a healer, I'm here as a communicator, I'm here as an influencer, I'm here as whatever the hell you want to call me, okay? I basically get channeled messages through and it's very, very much about love. It's very, very much about us getting our hearts in, connected, in connection so that we can actually start shifting these things. The longer we go on with hate and low vibrational behaviour and fear and panic, what's going to happen is more people are going to get sick. This is going to go on for longer. Like I've said recently quite a lot, the longer this goes on, the closer we're getting to mandatory vaccines. The longer this goes on, lots of other things are going to be going on and the noise is going to be going on. So please, I'm asking you, all of my fellow light workers around the world, please share this out as much as you possibly can. Please share this out. All of my fellow light workers, please, 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 let's come together at 8 p.m. in the UK time. Let's raise the, raise the freaking roof. Okay, let's raise the freaking roof. And then if you are drawn at about 10 past eight, we're all going to um, drop into a space of meditation and we're going to meet at the Glastonbury tour. Like I say, if you don't know what that looks like and you're not in my group, please, please, please just Google it, go on Pinterest and you'll be able to see a picture. We're not doing a guided meditation. We are just physically meeting there. What we do is we basically arrive. No doubt you will see me um, or you'll see other people that are going to be there. And then from there, whatever comes of your meditation comes of your meditation. If you are in Self Love Club with Lucy, please share your meditations after. After. It's so powerful how many of us align. Um, like the last meditation I did um, in Glastonbury, uh, no, sorry, the one we did last week in New York, um, I got I got told that I had to look for a sign of red balloons, literally red balloons. I had to look for a sign of red balloons. Within seconds of me going in my in my group, there was somebody in there saying, I'm not too sure why, but something to do with red balloons. Like it was really powerful. So let's all come together. Let's all come together right now. Let's all show love. Let's all show happiness and peace to each other. Whatever your political belief system, please let it go. Whether, you know, whether you've been brought up around hate and fear and panic and all the rest of it, I get it. I feel you and I see you. Please know that I am absolutely loving on you because you don't need to be alone in this situation. I'm just really encouraging everybody to step into their heart space, you know, for the next however long that this takes place. I mean, I would like to see it full stop on the planet, just continuation, but I know that that's not possible. People go back to the low vibrational behavior, and I get it, you're programmed that way. But please, let's just see what we can do. Let's get this closed out. Let's get our freedom back. Let's get, you know, being able... I went to the supermarket for the first time today and I was shocked. Um, it was such a pleasant experience, food shopping. Normally it's a bit hectic over here in the UK, but it was such a pleasant experience. But I miss the hustle and bustle. I don't know about you, I miss the hustle and bustle. I miss the, you know, the children crying. I missed... I miss those things. So how about we pull together, we create an absolute ripple of love. In fact, let's not create a ripple of love. Let's create an absolute tidal wave of love. Let's literally encase the whole world in a massive, um, you know, like a massive grip of love this evening. And let's actually make this happen. Let's increase the vibration. Let's clap. Let's stamp our feet. Let's do whatever we need to do to increase the vibration so that absolutely everybody around us joins in. It's contagious when we do this it's contagious so let's pull together and for any of my fellow light workers out there if you want to join the meditation we're going to be going in about five past ten past eight we're going to be meeting at the glastonbury tour because obviously that's where the heart chakra of the world is and we're going to look to really really just increase the um in increase the energy on the planet so that i didn't actually want to use that word carly i that's the word i wanted to use but i was like oh i'm not sure i want to use that word right now i don't want to um bring anything on so I'm putting it with a complete um lot of love I'm absolutely encasing the whole world in this mission okay let's all get out there let's make a racket let's make some noise let's lay down or sit down that's all we need to do absolutely mate um that's all we need to do sit down or lay down if you need some sort of background music I absolutely recommend solfeggios go on to youtube you can find solfeggios it upgrades your dna at the same time for any of my fellow light workers I'm 
If you needed guided meditation, use whatever you use. Just envisage yourself going to that spot in Glastonbury. If you need to go via somewhere else or if you need to go somewhere that you know and love, please, 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 please do that. Um, but just know that we will be there as a collective energy, um, loving you, pulling this together and increasing this vibration on the planet, which is so desperately needed right now at this time. If you see people giving hate, if you see people being nasty to you, scroll on past and give that person so much love because let me be really real with you, they really need it. I use Solvegios um, five times a day. Like literally, I'm 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 having to meditate that much at the moment because I'm being channeled so frequently, and I just I lose it. I lose my train of thought. I lose where I am. I'm writing emails and I'm like they're being channeled through me, and I'm like whoa 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 whoa. I don't want to be sending that. So you know I have to meditate five times a day, and I recommend in my group constantly. Solvegios is for an amazing DNA upgrade experience as well. And let's be honest, the whole point we want this vibration to go up is because we want to be going up to fifth dimension, and we don't want to be staying in this three-dimensional behavior where there is things like hate and scaremongering and fear and all of that panic stuff okay so i love you all very very much thank you very much for coming on this mission with me as always and um, for those of you in my group please pop your reviews um, in the group afterwards. Let us know how your meditation went. Let us know how connected you got or what happened or all of that good stuff. Um, I'm going to be doing that and then I am going to be doing my full moon rituals afterwards. So I might be offline for a little bit after the meditation, but um, please know that I'm with you in my heart. I look forward to seeing some of you there and um, my goodness, God knows what's going to happen. Let's be honest, we always have such a profound experience, don't we? Please share this with any light workers that you know or anybody that you know just needs to be part of it. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you all very, very much and I'll see you all down in Glastonbury. See you soon, guys.